Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people keep asking me what is the optimal keystone level that you should be running at the start of season 4 of Dragonflight and obviously if you can run plus stance, which is the maximum potential item level awards that you can get, you should do that. But in this video I'm going to argue that there are better ways to invest your efforts and time, especially if you are pugging. Now again, if you can run plus 10s, be my guest, but keep in mind that it's in the beginning of the season, we are severely undergeared, we're gonna be gaining anything between 20 to 35 item levels later on in the season, people do not have their tier sets and they're also either learning or relearning the dungeons and the mechanics. So my suggestion here is run dungeons at the key level that you know you can time. This is going to make much better use of your time and your nerves. Because even if you spend hour and a half trying to complete that plus 10 knockout offensive, during that time you can run 3 different dungeons, get more crests, more gear and of course it's going to be more pleasant timing them than just bricking and wiping again over and over on the same boss. So start at a key level that's convenient for you and here's a little chart that is going to tell you whether or not it's worth it to push one key higher than what you initially intended. The first big milestone is a plus 7 key which starts dropping hero track level gear at the end of the dungeon instead of the champion 1. This is actually huge because later on you can upgrade that gear using crest up to item level 522 and there's only 3 ways to get better gear at the mythic track level, namely mythic raiding, great vault and crafting. So potentially hero level gear could last you basically almost throughout the whole season if you're unlucky on the other fronts. Now there's one big incentive to go to a plus 8 which also drops the same item level hero track gear at the end of the dungeon but it converts your great vault slot to a mythic track level gear. And although the pieces that you get there are complete RNG, later on you can upgrade that gear to 528 which is basically the maximum that you can get outside a few rare items for the last bosses in the raids. So if you ask me, plus 8 is the most optimum key level that you can push for if you can of course time those keys because it gives you hero track at the end of the dungeon and it gives you mythic track in the end of the week in your great vault. There's gonna be plenty of time during the season to run those higher keys when you get better gear and if you decide to run plus 10 or plus 9 they actually give you one item level higher either at the end of the dungeon or in the great vault which is not bad because potentially that saves you crests for one upgrade. And while the crests are limited right now because of the weekly caps that we have, they will be abundant later on during the season so I wouldn't sweat about it too much especially if that key level makes the difference between you timing or breaking the key. There is one more aspect to consider when running dungeons, especially if you cannot afford to run plus 7s or plus 8s at this point and those are the crests that you get at the end of the dungeon which you can later use to upgrade your gear. In this season's numbers, plus 6 and everything above gives you aspect crests which are the best quality crests and don't forget that if you cap them you're going to start getting the worst crests at the end of the dungeons. So if you cannot aim for the higher keystone levels at the start you should try to do at least a plus 6 until you get 120 of the aspect crests which is currently the cap during week 1 and that number of course is going to increase with the weeks that are yet to come. If 6 is too high for you then you can aim for anything between 2 and 5 to get worm crests and mythic plus 0 keys give you drake crests. Keep in mind that all the key levels from mythic 0 up to plus 6 they all give you the same gear champion level at the end of the dungeon and hero track in your great vault at the end of the week. The only difference is a few item levels of difference at which those items drop. So to summarize everything, you can try to do plus 10s if that's too hard for you, try for a plus 8 which is going to give you mid level gear in your great vault, if that's too high try for a plus 7 which is going to give you hero track gear at the end of the dungeon and the rest of the keystone levels do not matter except that the plus 6s give you aspect crests instead of the other ones. The gear difference there is almost irrelevant. Hopefully that clears everything out for you, let me know if you have any questions below in the comments and I'll see you in the next video, now get out of here.